Well, it's that time of year when high schools across our state start celebrating their graduating seniors and shouting out the scholarships propelling them to the next level. Well, Kent takes us to Brooklyn Center tonight to introduce us to one incredible class and two of its biggest success stories. On Friday morning, Brooklyn Center High School held a different kind of pep rally. Well done. You have both school records. Students, staff, and parents celebrating a senior class unlike any other. This is the most scholarship dollars that has ever filtered through the school. And an incredible 15 of the 81 graduates won't spend a dime on tuition. Nearly 20% of your graduating seniors going off to college with a full tuition scholarship or more. What is it about this class that just seems to be killing it? I don't know. I feel like we're just motivated. Like, we just want to get our money, go to college, like just stay on top of the game. My class the best class. We just, I don't know. I just got the gate scholarship. Whatever it is, Natalia Edison is excited to be a part of it. So excited. Like really excited. This was her last month after finding out she was among just 300 students nationwide to receive the Gates Scholarship. Basically, it's just a full ride scholarship to any college in the world that you want to go to. Just a full ride scholarship. Yeah, just the full All the way through graduate school. <laughs> yep, yes. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm happy I got it. I was shocked. Where are you going and what do you want to do? So I'm going to the number one HBCU, which is in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Spelman College. It's all girls school. And I will be majoring in biology on a pre-med track to become a dermatologist. Hope you congratulate Natalia Edison. Before Natalia, Brooklyn Park had never had a Gates Scholar. But this year, our second Gates Scholar is She's one of two. Yeah, I'm going to Carlton College in Northfield, Minnesota. I'm planning to learn uh, computer science. Finan Gudina is valedictorian of the senior class, despite being relatively new to the school and the country. I came from Ethiopia. When did you move here from Ethiopia? Uh, I moved here on uh, 2021. So you only came to this country in 2021? Yeah. And you're graduating at the top of your class? Yeah. That it's blows my mind. Yeah. To be fair, it blows his parents' minds, too. This is the best country and the best chance they have. They have to use this opportunity to become someone. And he make it. That's what makes me happy. I'm very proud. I'm very proud. And they are definitely not alone. I think I heard your mom <laughs> during the did. presentation. <laughs> She's just a little excited for you. Yes, she is. She's going to break a lot of generational curses with this one. She's really set the bar high for our entire family. She said something about a generational curse. Mm -hmm. What is that? What does that mean? No one in my family has went to college. My mom also did not go to college, um, finish high school and things like that. So it's just a big deal for my family that I'm doing this. And none of it would have been possible without big Effort. You work pretty hard? Yeah, every day, all day, long hours. She pulls more hours than any adult I know. It's not sleeping at all. It's not sleeping. I'm coming from work around 2 a.m., so he's still sitting. And I tell him, go and sleep. He says something left, I'm not going to sleep. They both credit their families for that drive, even as it propels them into uncharted territory. The main thing I was thinking was like to come here, get a better education and do something for my people. So this opportunity means a lot to me and my hard work uh, paid off. My mom just adopted four of my cousins so I did not want her to have to worry about paying for me or how I'm going to get to college. That was something I was really worried about for my mom. Just to like go to college for free, not have to worry about anything. It's honestly a blessing. A blessing worth celebrating. Kent Erdahl, CARE 11 News. Wow. Those young scholars also told Kent they wanted to take time on this show tonight to say thank you to the adults in their school, those counselors who taught them and helped them navigate the scholarship process they wouldn't have known about. Sarah is one of those counselors at Brooklyn Center High School. She sent me a note to tell me about these scholars, and that's how this story came to be. So we thank you so much, Sarah. We want to celebrate your victories out there, so always let us know.